Hello and welcome to another Hostinger Academy video. My name is Guilas and today in this tutorial I will show you how to add products to your WooCommerce store. You will learn how to add two types of products. So you will learn how to add a simple product. This type of product doesn't have any variations. So for example, it could be a dog toy which doesn't have any different sizes or colors. And the next type of product is going to be a wearable product. So this type of product has different variations. For example, it could be a dog bed which has different colors or sizes or any other attribute so to add a new product you can click right here add new and as you can see this is where you can add your product so the most important fields are your product name so basically the title of your product you should add description for your product this description is going to be displayed on your product page here you will have to select the category as you remember previously we created those categories uh, tags are not so very important. I usually don't add tags myself and I'm doing just fine. All right, so here you don't need to do any adjustments right here. You will have to add a product image and you can add some other images of your product by adding product gallery. Also, if you want, you can add a short description which is going to be displayed above the price and add to cart button. But I usually don't add short descriptions as well. All right, so I'm just gonna add some of the information. I'm just gonna add product name, description, and I'm I'm gonna add images all right i just finished adding the information as you can see i added a new product which is going to be a dog toy and as you can see it has a title and it has a short description i have selected that this is going to be toys category i just added a product image so this image is going to be displayed as the main image of this product if you have more images of a certain product you can add uh, right here by selecting add product gallery images all right so once you have added this information you have added your title your description you have selected category and you have your main image of your product here we will have to do some other adjustments since we are adding a simple product that means it's going to be a single product we are not adding variable product so let's add some more information for this simple product right here in general section you will have to add your price so just add a regular price if this item is not on a sale but if an item is on the sale you should include a sale price right here so i'm just going to add the regular price and sale price so all right as you can see a regular price is going to be 45 dollars and since this item is going to be on a sale it's going to cost $22 all right from here we can go to inventory section here you can create SKUs for your products this way if you have a lot of products you can track your stock but um, this information is basically for users who are tracking all their sales who have their own stock and so on if your store is on a big scale uh, this information might be important but usually you can find all the information in analytic section to see how many sales you made and so on but I still recommend you to add your SKU so for example this is going to be the first product so I'm gonna add that this is going to be my first product if you are planning to manage stock you can enable it right here and you can add how many items you have and so on so for example maybe I have 10 units of this product this is where I should add this information so I'm just gonna add 10 and as you can see right here low stock threshold so for example once you only have two items in the stock you will be notified by email notification that you are running out of stock so again it's up to you if you want to track your inventory and from here we can move on to shipping section right here if you are planning to create some other classes for your shipping methods of course it's a little bit more complicated there's quite a lot of things to talk about shipping methods and shipping classes but I usually offer flat rates or free shipping methods so I don't do any adjustments right here in the shipping section so from here we can move on to link products and this is quite important if you have more products similar to this type of product you can add them right here since I don't have any more products added I will not be able to choose any other products but for example if you have some other similar products in which your potential customers might be interested you can add them right here by typing the title of that product and this product is going to be displayed in the checkout page this way you can do upsells you can sell more products so this is quite useful and you should add the same products or you could add different products in cross sell section in this case those products will be displayed on your product page on your main product page so if you would choose any other products those products would be only displayed for this particular product all right from here we can go to attribute section 
and here you can add various attributes for your product so by going right here as you can see you can add custom product attributes so let's click add and for example a custom product attribute could be material of this item so what is the material of this dog toy so I'm just gonna add the name and I'm gonna add the value so as you can see just like that I can add even more attributes so for example maybe this dog toy is a recommended for adult dogs so let's click add another attribute and I'm gonna add another attribute that this uh, particular dog toy is recommended for adult dogs all right once you have finished adding attributes you can click save attributes from here we can go to advanced section and here if you need if you want you can add purchase note which will be included in email notification for your customer I usually don't add any purchase notes and as you can see you can do some other adjustments like disable reviews but again I don't do any changes right here in get more options basically here you can add some WooCommerce extensions like I mentioned you before those extensions are quite expensive all right so everything seems great we have our title we have our description we have selected our category we have the main product image and we have finished adding the all information right here so once you have finished doing that we can click publish and we can check out how this product is going to look we can click right here view product all right and as you can see this is how our product is going to look it has the title description price we can add it to cart we have additional information so the additional information are the attributes which we added previously our customers will be able to leave a review and from here we can go ahead and add a variable product so let's go to dashboard let's go to products and let's select add new product all right so just like the previous time I'm just gonna add product name description I'm gonna select a category and I'm gonna add the main image all right as you can see I just finished adding the information this is the title description I selected category and as you can see I added my product image as well I added some other images in my product gallery all right so this time instead of choosing simple product let's choose variable product all right so right here again it's up to you if you want to manage stock if you want to include SKU so this information is up to you shipping information is going to be the same uh, link products already talked about that this is where you can upsell other products so for example now I have added one product and I can upsell this product right here so I added a dog toy so I'm gonna look for a toy so as you can see this is the dog toy which I can upsell let's add it right here and let's add the same toy right here in cross sell all right so I just added upsells and cross sells and later on you will see where this product is going to be displayed all right let's go to attribute section so this time in attribute section we will include main attributes which will be used for our variations so such main attributes can be size and color so I'm planning to have different sizes beds and I'm planning to have the same beds of different colors so all right let's click add new let's give a name let's enter size and let's enter values separated by this symbol all right so I just finished adding values as you can see I'm going to have small medium and large options this time let's select used for variations and we can hide this attribute from our product page let's click save attributes all right let's click expand and as you can see I just added this attribute right here the next attribute which I could add is color so let's click add let's give a name to this attribute and I'm gonna add the values just like I did with my size values and again let's select that this is going to be used for variations and let's hide this attribute from product page all right let's click save attributes and we could also add another attribute which we wouldn't use for our variations just like we did with a simple product so let's click add attribute and this time I'm gonna add attribute material I will let my customers know from what material this bed is made and this time don't choose that this attribute is going to be used for variations and let's leave that this is going to be a visible on product page let's click save attributes and now let's go to variations all right let's go right here and let's select create variations from all attributes let's click on it and let's click go let's click ok and as you can see nine variations were added all right so as you can see we have nine variations right now so we have small black bed we have small purple bed we have small brown bed we have medium and so on so now we have to add prices we can also add images for those variations so let's click expand all and as you can see right here if you are planning to track your sales 
files if you need SKUs this is where you can enter them and uh, here you just enter regular price and if this item is on a sale you can enter sale price as well so just like that I'm gonna enter a regular price and the sale price for all my products for all my variations all right as you can see I just finished adding the price so as you can see I have a regular price and I have sale price so it used to cost $22 now it costs $13 and this is for a small black bed the same goes for all other small beds and we have different price for medium beds so regular price was $42 now it's going to cost $25 the next thing which we can do is set images for those variations so for small black I'm gonna use this image black let's click set variation and for small purple I'm gonna use this image purple and I'm gonna do the same with small brown I'm gonna use brown image and once we are in the medium section I'm gonna use the same images I'm just gonna use medium black and I'm gonna do the same with medium purple and just like that I'm gonna set images for my variations all right once you have finished adding information images prices and so on let's click save changes all right so those are all variations and since now we are finished with this product we can click publish all right let's click view product and as you can see we have different sizes for example if i would choose small size and i would choose purple color as you can see purple version will be displayed automatically if i would choose brown brown version would be displayed so just like that you can easily add simple and variable products to your woocommerce store if you found this video useful don't forget to smash like subscribe to our youtube channel and if you have any questions or suggestions leave us a comment thanks a lot for watching and as always good luck on your online journey